I'm thrilled to introduce our next guest. The last time she was with us was actually April of 2017, if you can believe it. Number one, that speaks to how long Good Day has been on the air. And number two, it speaks to how amazingly her business has been growing. And I'm thrilled to be able to bring her back to give us a catch up and share what she's doing today. Allie Covington, when she was with us before, had a company called Bride Bod. Today, she has Bod by Allie, and she is doing personal training, nutrition, life coaching, uh, whatever, pretty much whatever you need, because whatever life brings, that's what we need. Allie, thank that's you right. for joining us, and Thanks. I'd much rather hear from you. <laughs> well, thank you for having me again. I really appreciate it. It's been oh. quite a journey. It has. Ooh, and I, Life I took love, a lot of turns. I love that. I love that people have taken their journey and continued to make things better than they were before. So why don't you uh, give our audience, because I'm sure very few people would remember what we aired in 2017, but give us a, a, a quick synopsis of you know how you got started and how you got here. So in 2017, I had Bride Bod Inc. and trademarked and everything, did a whole lot of work there. And it was to deliver the most quality personal training experience to women getting ready for their wedding or wanting to get back into that shape that they were in when they got married, right? Lots of moms came to me after their wedding and said, but, but, but I want to, I want to get back into shape. And I thought, well, okay, that kind of fits. Like, let's get your bride bod back. But it wasn't really resonating with them as a brand name. So we dropped the bride a lot because men were coming to me and wanting help too. And they raised their hands like, well, what about me? And I said, huh? I, 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 I thought you guys were all just doing your own thing. You weren't like, you didn't want any help. And they said, no, 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 we want help. So I thought, okay, so I got to drop the bride because that doesn't exactly fit men. So we became oh, Bod by Alley. I do want to say, I think maybe part of the attraction was the exclusivity of it that they might have wanted to be included because they were not included. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> maybe so. But what I've discovered is that there's a lot of men as well as women who are, you know, in their 40s and 50s. Some of my clients are into their 60s that really want to regain their youth that they had in their 20s and 30s. And there's a lot of factors that are working against them metabolically, hormonally, nutritionally, in terms of moving their body and how they do it and tailoring it to them. So that's been a really fun part of the journey, including gut health and being able to help people overcome autoimmune disorders and IBS, things like that, ulcerative colitis and so on. And that's been incredibly rewarding for me during this process. But what's interesting about it is I got started helping all of these people during COVID and where it expanded to was I realized that I was doing a lot of life coaching for my clients. Now, mind you, I've been doing this my whole life and I have a master's in counseling psychology. I just never thought that life coaching, right, was going to be something that was impactful. I, I looked at it like, oh, well, I have this degree. I didn't just go get a life coaching certification. I have more knowledge than most of them, than most of them do. So I need to not use that title. But then all my clients were using the title and I thought, okay, fine, whatever, whatever makes you happy. And then that expanded into executive coaching. And that's the, the frontier that we're on now, which is extremely exciting because it takes it takes life coaching one individual and helping them get over their uh, roadblocks with relationships and their own internal relationship with themselves and with their bodies and with food and all of that. But it takes it to be able to expand and help an entire organization by helping their leaders create healthier teams, create more uh, communicative and, and more mentally healthy teams. So I've leaned, I've leaned heavily into my gift in mental health, well, my training in mental health and my gift as a coach. And that's so where we are today. You find, do you find that when people start 
by focusing on themselves instead of focusing on their team or outwardly on someone else, if you can get them to focus on themselves first and then share that success with their teams, do you find people to be more open and receptive to the process? I do. I noticed that I, I've been coaching a lot of business owners and executives just with how they came to me for health. They ended up wanting life coaching and then they're sharing with me what, what their struggles are professionally. And I'm jumping in and saying, well, of course you can't do X, Y, and Z because your team doesn't believe in you when you jump in and start doing the work right alongside them. That's just one example. And that's been incredibly rewarding. So then they come back and they say, wow, that worked really well. Like, what else do you have? I thought, oh, okay, well, I'm going to lean into this a lot more than I ever did. I just, it, sometimes you feel like when a gift comes very easily to you, you don't value it and you don't realize that other people really will too. And that is what that big epiphany was for me about 90 days ago. Wow, really recent. You know, I used to Very joke. Recent. I used to joke that once you establish trust mm -hmm. with a client, they trust you for everything. And that statement came because I was sitting at my desk one day and an image client called and said, "Hey, you know everything about everything. So, do you have a landscaper in my neighborhood?" <laughs> <laughs> That's I perfect. I remember thinking, "Now, why would you call me for a landscaper? I mean, I dress you and I groom you, but it, I would never think that that would translate to grooming the outside of your home." But mm -hmm. then I literally went through my then Rolodex and mm -hmm. said, "Oh, by the way, Yes, I do. And so it <laughs> taps into you the recognition yeah. that you have more yeah. information inside than you think you do. Now, I want to take people yeah. back to your earlier beginnings because you were a personal coach, meaning a personal mm -hmm. trainer. Mm -hmm. You've done all the things that it takes to come through the steps as a personal trainer, through nutrition as a working nutritionist, and then all the aspects of coaching for the physical aspect. You also have been a certified financial advisor. So you have a mm -hmm. really good, strong background in money and how it works. And you also have owned a few businesses. And I mean, I think yeah. for our viewers, if you live long enough, you're going to do stuff. And if right. you're lucky, you figure out how to feed the thread that ties it all together. And I'm yeah. thrilled that you now have been able to bring in all of your earlier work, get the success through the physical work, which I do believe is the place most of us would like to start, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm finding. So many people say, okay, I can, I can, at, least, I can at least dial in my body. I may not be able to handle the relationship issues or my boss or my subordinates that, I, you know, are driving me crazy, but I can focus on myself and I can do this one thing. And so they often come to me for that. And then they find that I've got all these other tools and frameworks and, and ways of helping them improve their lives in much more meaningful ways than just their health. But if we only focused on their mind, and their body isn't functioning properly, we're always going to be facing this uphill battle. Because when the hormones are off, our thinking is off. When our eating is off, our brain is affected. It's inflamed. I've got clients that are coming to me saying, well, I've got all this brain fog and I have low energy. He didn't, that his goal isn't wa wanting to necessarily lose weight. His goal is that he wants to feel better. And so I could work on his mindset, but that's not going to change what's happening in his body. We've got to do that too. And since we can't separate the head from the rest, I really feel like we need to be addressing all of those things at the same time. Yeah, I, I agree too. And I think people don't necessarily make the connection right away between the gut and the brain and the energy. Wow. I mean, these lifestyle right. illnesses, lifestyle <clears throat> symptoms, Things yes. that you can change through diet, you have always focused on that. What do you mm -hmm. find? What do you find to be the biggest challenge when it comes to working with someone on their nutrition, on their diet, to try to balance out their their body? 
Their brain. <laughs> their brain, their body and the brain. Well, the body and the brain. Well, the way they think about food, their relationship with it, their limiting beliefs about what they can do. So often people think, I can't do that. I can't cut out sugar. I can never do X, Y, and Z. I mean, it doesn't insert whatever problem they really want to focus on. And they believe I'm broken. They usually come to me with this belief that there's something inherently wrong with me. And so I don't think I can do X, Y, and Z, but I think I can do this. So we start with whatever they believe they can do. And then I gradually move them to show them that you actually can achieve far more than you thought that you were capable of. You just had this knot tied up around this one particular topic. So when it comes to changing eating habits, it's a cultural thing. It's a deeply psychological thing. It's a very habitual thing. So if we just change the the gray matter in between our, our ears, we can change everything else in our lives. It's the way so we look at we, things. We, so we start with the, the way we think about how we eat and mm-hmm. start to shift the diet. And then you see what a shift in energy, a shift in clarity. Yes. And a shift in body composition, which then gets them very excited to continue to do more. And so all of it starts to be this upward spiraling vortex, as opposed to this quicksand that they feel like they can't get out of mentally and physically. So can you share with us um, your greatest success story to date? My greatest success story to date is probably a person that came to me in 2020 and he had been 370 pounds. He dropped probably about 50, 60 pounds on his own, just walking through sheer determination and, and will. I don't know how he managed to walk 30 miles carrying 30 pounds on his back, but he was determined. And that's a beautiful thing to find. And as we got started, he really left the workouts, dialed in the nutrition, all about it. And he approached me for, do you do any coaching, Allie? And at that point, I had been being Allie, and Allie is intrinsically a coach by nature. That was my gift. And my response to him was, well, I I guess I've never charged for it. So let's see how it goes. And he had massive internal transformations, so much so that he continued to drop down to somewhere in the 230s. And this man, I've watched him evolve into from a a gamer guy that kind of stays stuck in his cave and introverted, doesn't want to really engage and talk to people to being this confident, extroverted, I'm going to go help companies and start to save the world and build an empire and get a six pack at the same time type of person. And so it's the most magical transformation that I've ever seen a human person, a human go through. And he did it all while not staying at home in his comfort zone. He actually traveled around the United States and Mexico and whatnot and landed back here in Orange County, as a matter of fact. Wow. Yeah, that's that's, amazing. That's super. And there's nothing there's nothing better than knowing that you've been able to help someone get through that kind of a shift and you've been part of their journey and their transformation, just making it place one person at a time. So people can meet with you remotely. They Mm -hmm. do meet in person or is it all done remotely? It's all done remotely. I don't find that it's any better in person than it is remote. I've done both and I can reach more people faster remotely, you know, travel time being what it is. (laughs) Oh, I say for my purposes, I'm so happy the show went remote because my guest list can be from all over the world. Otherwise somebody had to be willing to drive the 405 to get to me. Right. And I fortunately did not have to because you were close enough to me, but I was grateful that I didn't have to drive the 405 even back then. Yeah. So do you have an app that they work through or do you do video calls? How does it work? Well, when I do my coaching calls, we do video like this. And the way I deliver my workouts and nutrition is via the app that my business partner and I built together. Actually, I had built an MVP that he loved. And then he came on board and said, I want to invest my time and money and make it even better. And so that's what we did. Excellent. So how can people find you and find out more? 
You can email me, Allie, at bodcompany.com. I'm happy to respond to anything there, and I'm happy to give you a free trial and have a conversation. My website is bodbyallie.com. There's two L's in Allie and one I. There's no E, and there's two L's. <laughs> so We'll put it on the screen so people can see Allison. Okay, good. <laughs> so I can't tell you if my clients get it, get my name spelled wrong. The, uh, my name spelled wrong. Anyway, um, yeah. So okay. my website, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm very accessible. I answer all of my messages myself. So feel free to reach out to me anytime. Super. Ali Covington with Bod Company. Ali, thank you so much for coming back and sharing and congratulations. What a, an amazing journey it's been. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. And we'll be right back.